This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I'm bringing you another amazing community replay. This time from Clone Guy and he's in the amazing T26 E5 Patriot. Now, you guys remember my video on the Patriot and I actually like the tank. It really is pretty pretty fantastic, uh, especially hull down. The thing is fully capable of ruining the Reds. That being said, um, I've never even come close to what we're about to see Clone Guy do. Uh, now you can look at the barrel and he's already got two stars on his barrel, not just the back of his turret. I'm talking about he's got two marks of excellence on this already. So uh, you know he knows what he's doing. But he's heading up to the hills, which is where you want a, an American tank. Uh, that is just... I love this tank. Now, I know the graphics look a little weird at the moment. <laughs> he takes a shot and hits a Tiger II across the map. I'm not sure, but, you know, we all do it. <laughs> and he's already calling good game. It's over. Over. Before it even starts, it's over. <laughs> Tiger II went the wrong direction. Definitely over. But it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, <laughs> we are about to see... The best game I've ever seen somebody have in a Patriot, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, what do we know about American heavy tanks, or American tanks, period, for that matter? Uh, other than the tank destroyers, like, American tanks are built around gun depression a lot. Uh, if you remember T-29, uh, your E-5, your T-57 heavies a little bit less, but, like, your M-48 Patton... All of the American uh, tanks love to be hill peekers. We just pop up over the ridgeline. Look at the gun depression. He just sticks his turret up, pops around into the guy. And it does help that he's got absolutely amazing um, matchmaking here. Now, that T-32 is a fully capable heavy tank. But that guy obviously doesn't... There, He bounces off the T-32. The T-32 is just not sure what he's supposed to do. The spa pans are down. He puts around. He takes around from the uh, T32, though. He's got to be careful. He's skylining himself, giving himself up to be shot by multiple tanks. He does the smart thing. He backs off the ridge line. Even as good as the Patriot is, you want to minimize the amount of people who can shoot you. So peeking over the ridge line is the most fantastic way to put hurting on people. Now here's the defender. So we get a little Patriot versus defender action. This this, is, this couldn't be scripted. Like, you gotta love it. So, the, the Defender, obviously, I don't know. That shot looked like it should have pinned. It, it did hit the bottom plate, even though the bottom plate is angled away from him uh, slightly. But he's gonna watch that tank on his left is about to pop out and put a round in him, it looked like. Yep, that would be the one, the Fatherland. Fatherland's decently hauled down, so he's gonna struggle to hit the Fatherland at the moment. Um, but the Defender's giving him that ginormous lower lip. That's what I'm telling you guys. That's why I hated the Defender. I, I like the tank, but that bottom lip is so... Look at the Fatherland. Like, you're going to struggle to pin the Fatherland in that position. However, the Defender, look at the bottom lip. I was just like, just sticking out there like, Please shoot me. Please, please shoot the bottom plate. <laughs> so he's just making mincemeat of the Defender. Uh, and that's why the Patriot is so good. Oh, no, Fatherland. Did you not see? And then, okay, he does pin the upper plate of the Fatherland once the Fatherland squared up to the other guy. So that's something to remember as well. But he is just putting on a clinic. Now, he puts one into the side of the turret. That's a risky shot due to the fact that even though the turret's facing, it's still a rounded turret. So you got to be careful. Now, t 34s pull it up and that KV-3... Come on, put around in a KV-3 before you get... Yeah, there you go. Make as much as you can. Now, this T-34, again, another American heavy tank. They're very dangerous. Uh, they're they're <laughs> swapping rounds. Neither of them are really getting anything out of it. They're just bouncing off each other. Uh, the T-34 has overextended. He puts a round right through the drive wheel. Beautiful placement. 
and immobilizes him, and he's going to do it again. Oh, he does track him, but didn't get the damage th that time. The guy fixed it just in time. There he gets the damaging hit and the retrack. Can he keep it up? It sure looks like he's going to... Oh, how do you bounce that? That that's That's got to be frustrating. You're doing so well, and then you get that. Now, he puts one on the KV-3. Um, it looks like the Fatherland's coming back around. It's going to be a tough sell if he's staying hauled down. You see the uh, Jumbo Sherman over here, just a uh, little bit too uh, complacent. A little bit too. So, we're kind of in a pickle. Now, personally, I would push one of these guys. Uh, you could kill the Fatherland easily. Um, so, push the Fatherland, get him off there, and then focus the uh, T-34. But, when the enemy is doing this, I mean... You just sit back and take it from them. You, you know, Mr. Jingles always likes to say, uh, never interrupt the enemy when they're making mistakes. And that's the truth. Like, literally, you don't have to do anything crazy. You just, now, the push, beautiful. KV-3's a one-shot. The Fatherland's a one-shot. KV-3's down. Fatherland, down. All right, now we've swung the match back slightly. We're only down one tank. Uh, make that t <laughs> down two tanks. Um, like it's like always on cue now the jumbo Sherman's holding his own and this t32 that that was a bit of a risky shot that shot went through the upper plate of the t32 uh, it's not gonna happen every time but he kind of makes me a liar and down the KV or the t32 goes so we're still down two tanks how are we gonna pull this back there's lots of bad guys out there and all of them would love nothing more than to uh, farm a practically full health patriot but they're gonna get more than they bargained for because we're already up to 23 pins and four kills that's ridiculous all right ridiculous <laughs> so moving across the map he's trying to get there as fast as he can to be at least in view range of the enemy if he can get some shots across the map and here he comes now everybody's low health Aiming, aiming, come on, shot out on the Tiger 2, puts one, oh, just low rolls him, keeps him from uh, finishing him off. Come on, STA, got him. Oh, this is a freak, this is shooting fish in a barrel, guys. Look at this, VK100, side shot, all day, every day, no problem. Come on, can he finish the Tiger 2 off? Sure looks like it, shot out. Oh, what happened there? The round bounced. Not preferable. That's just frustrating. So it's 3v3. Now, he's got some formidable armor against him. Tiger 2 is a one-shot kill, so you know it's basically a 2v3. Uh, but you've pushed down. You've got to keep going. You can't sit there. Now, they're going to put some rounds on you. But by pushing down the hill, you limit the amount of people who can shoot you because they don't want to skyline themselves to be shot by your teammates that are sitting behind you. So this is a good push. Now, this VK100 is very dangerous by pushing over like that. Um, now, you've got to be careful because now you've gotten yourself into this position and you're being shot from multiple people and that guy on the left is just absolutely ripping him apart. So he's keeping the uh, VK100 tracked and he's still eating damage from the, the tank destroyer on his left. He finally gets around into the uh, VK100 that actually does damage and... We've got the T25-2. He puts around on the T25-2. And he is just one after another getting pinned over and over again. Where is his teammates? Now, he takes down the T25-2, gets the front turret armor over towards the WZ. He auto-locks to get the shell on target and then aims the shot. But this VK-100 wants to kill him. And you can't really blame him because he has kind of single-handedly ruined the team. Now, he's got six kills, guys. <laughs> oh, get out of there. He's going to ram you. Yep, that doesn't feel good. But now, backside shots. And there it is. Get the armor around. Charge straight ahead so that you make him shoot your turret. He fumbles a shot. And down he goes. We, that leaves only the WZ Tier 6 Chinese tank. The first of the Chinese tank destroyers that's actually decent that being said I mean he could easily kill the Patriot with one more shell 
The Patriot is that close to death. Can he pull it off? Now, he could probably two-shot this Wizzy, if I remember correctly. So, one shell. No, it's going to take three. Unless the Wizzy does something extremely crazy. Oh, man. I know that you would have died, but I would have loved to see you finish that guy off by letting him ram you. That would have been amazing. And down over the hill and killing for eight kills, 36 pins. My God. <laughs> that was an amazing game. I don't remember there being a fire either. I think that was a legit. 395,000 silver, 36 pins, 8 kills, 7,600 damage, 2,800 block, mastery ace tanker, every metal imaginable. So if you like what he's doing, drop clone guy a uh, nice little uh, round of applause in the comments below. Because that was absolutely artistry right there. That was straight artistry. So punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.